minivan. What's up, dude? Welcome to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Amen. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, darling. <laughs> you ready for me? I'm ready to get these little boat sweet things out of my house. <laughs> How long have they been here? Uh, a month? Don't you think? Maybe, yeah, about a month. It was a month Maybe. ago I was out here. Okay, then. How long was, was it? Three weeks it was ago? Two weeks there? ago. Two weeks ago. Because you said two weeks, I remember. Okay. And then they had been here maybe two or three weeks. I'm okay. paranoid. I think they're going to bite me, but they're not. You they're, got your jars ready? I got them ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I've got to get who's going to get what. I've been promising it to everybody that I, I knock on the door with. <laughs> hey, you got some honey? Campaigning. It's really homegrown. Campaigning on honey. <laughs> Connie is in the middle of a campaign. <laughs> well, I can't wait to start the process. i got to take pictures. This is what happens when you don't seal your house. That's it. <laughs> Properly. <laughs> That's it. And when you live on the river in a nice a nice spot for in bees. A wooded area. We rolled in from Montgomery, Alabama. Yes, sir. Did you do surgery on my house? Didn't you? Yes, yes, I came up now. Um, <laughs> we're already down at the beach for vacation, so I left the family at the beach and I came over here to play with bees. Really? Yep. Do you do this all the time? For the past three years, yes. That is awesome. So you're, this is a training? No, this is a seminar. You can write it off. This is a hangout. Yeah, this is a hangout. <laughs> seminar. Yeah. But, seminar. But yeah. he could write it off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was on vacation, too. You were on vacation, too? Well, he's my brother-in-law, so. Oh, oh. Uh, we brought him down for, he, he's tagging along for his birthday to find out Look, if he's allergic got a to bees. Hat on. Oh, nice. What is that? <laughs> I, got a, I got an epi pin in the car, I don't so. have one of those. Okay. I'm Hopefully just going to want. All right, well, we're about to tear your wall open. Okay. I'll put it back there. Okay, this is so neat. I can't wait to watch it. Because I don't think I've ever been this close to a honeybee. That's so bad. That's it was bad. the yellow jackets and those wasps that used to tear me up. You'll yeah. find the heat signature on it's pretty good. Or was two weeks ago. And, and there's... paying attention to spray you in the back of the head with uh, bee lure. Oh, you so put... let me ask one question before you get started. <laughs> is that lemongrass oil in my hair? <laughs> before y'all get started, uh, some idea. Before they went into my wall, mm -hmm. There was a huge swarm, like half as big as the car. So I went over and built a little fire in my fire pit and turned my fireplace on inside my house. Mm. And that just, then the, I guess that just drove them into the wall, right? I shouldn't do things no. like that when there's a when no, they, they, when there's a when there's a big swarm like that. They had already scouted that spot uh -huh. and, and were already here to move into that spot when you saw them. They'd already made up their mind. They had already made up their mind. This looks like a nice little palace for our queen. Hey. The That's a gas alligator line. Alligator yep. <laughs> Cut the gas line. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. That's the quicker way to do it, right? We cut through the gas yeah, line, then it. we don't have to cut the it's wood. It's a live gas line, so make sure you throw sparks. Uh, I'll try, try my best Hello. to throw really far in the <laughs> <laughs> For the reason I'm standing back here, Kenny has experience with bees. Like, hey, you want to go out on Tuesday? I was like, Would you rather be at the beach? Uh, well, I got sunburned after two hours the other day, so yeah, the answer to that is no. <laughs> <laughs> same thing happened to me. I apparently got my fill right out of the gate. All right, here's what's funny is the how easy it is to disturb the entrance of a hive. All we've done right now is remove lattice. We haven't moved anything, but it's changed the appearance of the front of the hive. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's a lot of them in the air. A little bit of confusion here. They'll kind of settle down once we put them in the vac, huh? Let's hope. <laughs> We ain't gonna put that sheet back so it really don't matter. Up the skirt. Oh, uh, let me turn. <laughs> Yeah, they're built on the back of the plywood. 
Yeah, I was gonna say that might be the next thing that we're gonna do. We actually we were gonna try to save this sheet. How far above and, the, uh, uh, we've been working on it and working on it. If you can see the sweat poured in my eyes. <laughs> of course I would have been sweating like this anyway, but you know, it's a good excuse. We had to waste this sheet. We're gonna get another one, use this one for a template to match up for the holes. Nothing to it. But we we're having a hard time getting it off anyway. It's been on there a little while and the nails were biting really good. We we ripped some marine plywood. For the most part, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we tore it like paper. You can see right here. Yeah. We just grabbed it and just tore it like that. See, in the evenings, we sit around and tear phone books. Yeah. What's the requirement of being a bee beekeeper, right? That's, that's that Mountain Dew strength. <laughs> And we're still we're still prying. We're trying to get it around that that lattice on that next piece kind of overlaps. So when I go back, I might They're trim the edges mad. of that. They're just lost. We got the convincer. <laughs> we're still going to have to cut around that gas line, probably. Yeah. You gonna pull it? Be, be easy because. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be easy because they're gonna. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. There's really no avoiding it anyway, but. No, we want to watch for the queen while we're standing here looking at all this. Stomping around on the ground. Yeah. She works as a bait really well. Yeah, <laughs> she does. Reveal. You need the, uh, <clears throat> the enforcer here? <laughs> nah. Oh, okay. Oh, that wasn't too bad. It's not, there's, there's, there may be just a little bit attached, looks like. Oh, oh not, that's right amazing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a lot, huh? It is. Oh, but yeah. up in there. We got a bucket ready for you too. It's Mother Nature. Isn't that amazing what they can do with us? <laughs> this oh is a beautiful comb. I tell you what. I love these sheets like this. <laughs> and look at all that honey. <laughs> Connie's getting the honey there. <laughs> I will be tasting it, however. I always gotta taste I'm the winners, right? I, it's pretty chill. If you see the queen, shout it out. I'm gonna grab a clip because I'm sure we're gonna find her. There's one sitting right there. What happens when oh, okay. you get a hold of her? She's not, she's not. Uh, then you can usually she get the rest of them to come out. Oh, okay. that right there? Yeah, and the workers can get through these holes, but she can't get out of it. Uh, Y'all in prison? Got a little, little <laughs> over here, but I don't think that's. We lock her up. <laughs> it's for her own good, though. Yeah. Do we have a gap going up? No, no, it doesn't look like it. Right, that's I thought that too. I saw them cluster up there. I want to make sure they, want to make sure they wasn't running. They're going in the house. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. They make a nice wall ornament, however. Uh, it, it definitely yeah. would. Take the sheetrock off it and put up some glass. <laughs> you just quite the uh, conversation piece, I think. Wouldn't you? Look at the dragonfly trying to make a meal. Mm. There you go. It's mine. Oh, mine. <laughs> I did this. What you call homegrown honey right there, buddies and boys and girls. Yes, it is. Yes. You've, been, you've been juicing fruit for them? Yes. Yeah, just fine. <laughs> oh, did you taste it over there? Oh, no. So I got to taste it. Oh, cool. Just stick your finger in it. Okay. This is my first taste of honey right from my own house. Mm. Oh, it's yummy. Yes, it is. It's sweet. And what well, do they talk so much just, about in the Bible? The <laughs> oh, that's yum. Enjoy it, though. It's cool. I love that. That and Chinese buffets in the Bible. <laughs> 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 or fat babies. Have y'all been there? About to get started with the removal. We're going to start on brood combs first. Of course, working from the right side, top layer. And this board here, probably going to save it to the last. It's got a bunch of honey behind it. It'd just make a mess if we tried to pull it off. Honey's actually built onto it. You can see where we cracked it pulling. We're going to save that for last. And then uh, also the rest of this honey is going in a bucket. 
Going in an extra clean bucket. Sanitized by my wife. I told her it was sanitized and she said, with what? I said, with what? Muddy <laughs> ditch water. <laughs> yeah, so we're about to get busy on this thing. Well, Video honey. started. We got, we got a lot of honey on this edge and a lot more on the back side. But there's brood on the back side of this. So what I do is I come over here where there's no brood. Make a clean cut around all my brood because who wants to chew on larva, you know? And I flip it over. We got a separation down the middle where it separates honey to, to brood. And if I can get it without dropping it, I just kind of Fillet the top off of it, just uncapping it, basically. And then I'll take this and scrape it off. And then the rest of this is just brood. So that was probably, that was probably a half a pound of honey that we just scraped off in that fillet. I have some cheese cloth. You'll need it later. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be Crush and strain method. You'll be straining this stuff overnight. Crushing and straining is fun. Your hands start to hurt after a little. John running the BVAC like a champion. I kind of feel like that's what we're missing. We can, we can turn some music on if you need. Well, I missed it a second ago. Randy was working, but now he's just standing there again. I was just trying to catch some air. <laughs> I was reading on your website. You, saw, you charge for the signature, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> merchandising, merchandising. All right, we're still on a queen search, and these are... These are some pretty big bees. I kind of expect the queen to be sizable and maybe a bright orange, I hope. She's probably back up behind all this right now. We got a bunch piled up at the top, but I don't think she's up there. We're gonna keep on looking there. Yeah, you you wanna cut some? Trim this part off. Yeah, go ahead and section this and see what. I think that's all. I think that's gonna be all, honey. Y'all notice all the safety equipment that these people have on. I'm calling OSHA tomorrow. OSHA. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> OSHA. Get her eagle eye, don't pinch her legs off. <laughs> there we go. That's what's up. Gotta keep your eye on the prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the big one right there that can't get out. Yep. Hmm. Alright. What are we doing here? What's up, eagle eyes? <laughs> oh. We're gonna turn her right up here. You get them to come over that way? Yeah. We got, you can see we got bees clustering up in this corner. I just hung the queen on a nail over here. So as we vacuum, we'll try to draw them out over to this side. Now I just stuck her there, so they hadn't really caught wind of her yet. We're pretty close to the end of the brood. Most of this up top. Say, I think we got most of the bees in the vacuum. Most of this up top is gonna be honey. There's a little bit of brood left in there. Mm. I want to say, yeah, you 
up there. Food run there. Yeah. Look at this guy. It's his first time messing with bees and he's already, already I know. It all out. Got the hood up and everything. Not even not even scared. Only ran away twice. <laughs> <laughs> My hair's on fire. <laughs> That's right. Might Bless as well look right there. I'm sorry, chick. I, I oh, she's fine. Right there with she's you. She's all right. She'll be all right. She'll be all right. Bless her heart. I'm like her off in a cage. Like you know, she can't get sucked in the vacuum with all the ulcer. A lot of our viewers won't know this, but uh, a really common <laughs> southern saying what? that Connie loves. Yeah. The one about the, how the northerners start out the story. Oh no. Lord. <laughs> the, the bless her heart. Bless her heart. <laughs> well, she's drawing them. We've had her Look, up there. Where, where are they going up in there? Just right there. That's the bottom of that board. They can't go anywhere. We've had her on that nail for about three or four minutes now, and they're starting to kind of migrate over. We're totally done with the cutout, but we destroyed the board. The board's got to go back up, so I'm going to go pick up another sheet and uh, use the old one to cut out for the pattern. I dropped one piece of comb. It was one of the last ones hanging. I saw it fall and I reached for it, and I just got my fingertips on it missed it. Right now, I got the queen over here. So the bees will kind of gather up on her. I'm gonna leave her ha hanging right there until I get back. Cause there's still a lot of forage bees out in the field. I'm gonna vacuum up everything that's kind of running around right now before I leave. I'll take them, set them up in a box. And then when I get back, it'll be several hours probably because we're going to eat. Yeah. We're going to eat at Fat Babies. And then I'm going to get some materials to come back up on this wall. We dumped water on Randy. It's not really that hot out here. See, yeah. we're, we're all fine. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, like we the, gave him a flash dance special. It was like the... <laughs> <laughs> a flash dance. <laughs> I was, I was going to suggest the Gatorade dump after the football game. Woo! <laughs> I don't know that you'd want that much sugar on you with bees roaming around. <laughs> This is the river we're working on. Out here by your mama's house. There it is, all put back. Burn pile. Done. Wrapping it up and going home. Just gotta pack up my tools and my sitting on bucket. Man, you talk about cutting it close. I just wrapped it up and that started rolling in over me. Major cold front come through. It felt so good, but I, I knew I was fixing to get dumped on. I was slinging tools and throwing stuff in my truck. Bless her heart.